Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 4 Week 10. In this Music Theory lesson, we are talking about intervals. Intervals. In Grade 3, we learned how to identify how to identify intervals and to describe them with their full names. A type and a number. For example, perfect fifth. It's a type and a number. Perfect, it's a type, number, it's a fifth. We learned that the interval spells from the tonic of a major scale are one, perfect unison, two, major second, three, major third, four, perfect fourth, five, perfect fifth, six, major six, seven, major seventh, eight, perfect octave. For example, here there are intervals spelled from the G major scale, spelled from a G major scale with the tonic G as our lower note. Let's take a look. G major scale. We have from G to G in the same line, perfect unison. From G going up, the next step is major second. It's a one on the line, two on the space. From G to B, it's G, one, A, two, three, B, major third, perfect fourth, from G to C, it's one, two, three, four, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, from G to D, it's one, two on the space, Three line, four space, five line, perfect fifth, major six, it's one on the line, two space, three line, four space, five line, six space, major six, major seventh. From G to F is major seventh because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From G to G above, it's an octave. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's perfect octave. We also learned that the interval spell from the tonic of a minor harmonic scale are one perfect unison, two major second. Now we see the change. Our third no longer major third is now minor third. Four perfect fourth stays perfect fourth. Five perfect fifth stays perfect six fifth. Number six changes to minus six now. Seventh stays as a major seventh, and eight stays as a perfect octave. For example, compare the intervals spelled from the G minor scale with the G as the lower note. Unison. Major second, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, 
minus 6 major 7 perfect octave the only difference between the major and minor scales are in the third and the sixth the difference as we have seen is the third and the sixth intervals in grade 3 all the intervals we had to identify had the tonic as the lowest note in grade 4 we have to identify and write intervals between any two between any two notes in any of the keys for this grade up to five flats and sharps in other words the lowest note might not be the tonic of the key might not the lowest note might not be the tonic of the key you also learn two new terms augmented and diminished harmonic and melodic intervals intervals which are written with one top on top of another are called harmonic intervals intervals which are written with one note after another is called melodic intervals and let's see our examples here harmonic example harmonic interval we set one on top of the other so this is one on top of the other because you see they are on the straight line one on top of the other melodic one after the other so this one starts and this one follows you see the pattern these two terms have nothing to do with the types of minor scales harmonic and melodic intervals are worked out in the same way they are just written differently we work them the same but we write them differently interval qualities the words major minor and perfect describe interval qualities the words major minor and perfect these words are the describing words for the quality of the interval major and perfect intervals are those created when the lower note is the tonic of a major scale lower note is the tonic of major scale that's when we create major and perfect and the upper note is also the same in the major scale major and perfect intervals are those created when the lower note is the tonic of a major scale and the upper note is also the same major scale meaning it's the same in that major scale note this it does not matter what key a piece of music is in the interval between c being our lower note and e being our upper note is always a major third even if the interval is found in a piece written in the key of f minor for example this is because the note e is the third note in the c major scale only the intervals of a second third sixth and seventh can be major only the intervals of a unison fourth fifth and octave can be perfect you cannot have a perfect third or a major fourth for example 
Minor augmented and diminished intervals are only found when the lower note is the tonic of a major scale, but the upper note is not part of the major scale. The upper note is not part of the major scale. Minor intervals are one semitone half step smaller than the major intervals. Only seconds, thirds, seconds, thirds, sixth, seventh can be minor. Second, third, sixth, seventh can be minor. Diminished intervals are one semitone half step smaller than the minor intervals or one semitone smaller than the perfect intervals. So diminished, it's smaller than a minor or in a perfect. Unisons. Unison. Seconds. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and octaves can all be diminished. Augmented intervals are one semitone half step bigger. They are now bigger than the major. Or perfect intervals. So Augmented is one step higher than a major and a perfect. Unisons, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and octaves can all be augmented. Here is an example. We have a B major, B flat major scale, or in four four. And we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So we need to identify what's A, what's B, what's C, what's D, what's E, what's F, what's G, what's H. So from F to B flat. F to B flat. It's a perfect fourth. B flat is a fourth note in the F major scale. So from F, from F to B flat, it's a perfect fourth. From F. to be natural, augmented fourth, one semitone wider than a perfect fourth. C, from B to C is minus second, B to C, minus second. In the B major scale, the second note is C sharp. B to C is one semitone smaller. That's why it's minus second. From C to E flat. C to E flat. It's minor third in the C major scale. The third note is E natural. So E to E flat is one semitone smaller. E. E flat to G. From E flat to G. Major third. G is the third note in the scale of E flat major. So that's why it's major third. F. A flat to G. From 
a flat to G. Major seventh. G is the seventh note in the scale of a flat major. G from A flat to B augmented second. A flat to B. The second note of the A flat major scale is B flat. A flat to B is one semitone wider. H D to B. From D to B. Major 6. B is the sixth note in the scale of D major. So you see how we construct this interval. Working out the intervals. To find the interval number, first count the letter names. Letter names. First, we count the uh, letter names of the notes. From G to A sharp is a second, but G from G to B flat is a third. Even though A sharp and B flat are in harmonic equivalent, the same note on the keyboard. To find the interval type, use the lower note and pretend. Is the tonic of a major scale. Find the interval type, use the lower note and pretend it's the tonic of a major scale. 3. Write out the scale if you can't do it in your head. Use the pattern tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Tone or whole step equals T and semitone or half step is S. 4. If the upper note is in the major scale, the interval will be major, second, third, sixth, seventh, or perfect, and it will be unison, fourth, fifth, and octave. 5. If the upper note is not in the major scale, it will be augmented. Wider or bigger. Minor is one semitone half step smaller than a major. Or diminished, one semitone smaller than a minor or perfect. Yes, here's an example. Name the interval marked with the bracket. So we need to name this interval here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. First, count the letter names B, C, D, E, F equals two. This is B natural, C, D, E, F. This interval is a fifth. Next, make the major scale using the lower note as the tonic. The lower note is B. Here's our lower note. So we can make the B major scale. B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. Now check whether the upper note is in the scale. It is not. The upper note is F natural, but the scale contains F sharp. Work out if the interval is bigger or smaller than the perfect. F natural is one semitone half step lower than F sharp which makes this into a small interval. An interval which is one semitone smaller than perfect is diminished. So this is a diminished fifth. So your answer is diminished fifth. 
writing intervals. Use the same method to write intervals. Let's imagine we are asked to write a harmonic interval of a diminished seventh above this note. F sharp. Start by working out the letter name needed by counting out seven letters. We have F, G, A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Write in an E without any accidentals. And here it is written for us. Next, work out the major scale from the lower note. In fact, the scale of F sharp major is pretty nasty though. So if you want, you could ignore the sharp for a moment and work out the scale of major instead, which is F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. We can see that E exists in the F major scale. So from E to F is a major seventh. If the lower note is F sharp, then the interval is one semitone half step smaller. So it, the interval we have written so far must be a minus seventh. We need to write a diminished seventh, which is one semitone half step smaller than a minus seventh. This means we need to make our interval smaller by one semitone. We do this by changing E natural to E flat. So we add a flat sign next to our E. Thank you for watching and hope you have enjoyed. Let's meet again next time.